Hello travel friends! In this episode we are going to talk to you guys about things to think about, consider, as you're planning your Greek island vacation. There are a lot of Greek islands. A ton. I think right? 7,000. Right. There's a ton of them. Um, there's obviously very, very popular touristy ones. Mm -hmm. There's I guess less popular or More low less, key. Yes, low key. Traditional. Less vibe. visited ones. Yeah. Um, but whatever it is, uh, wherever you're planning to go, um, we hope that these tips will help you guys plan your vacation. The first tip is ferry versus plane. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing to think of is first, how much time do you have? Right. Are you really passionate about the water? Do you get seasick? Or, or are you scared of flying? Um, I think those are big considerations because right. the ferries, there are short ferries. Right. Which we took a couple, we took a short ferry. Well, it's a short ferry if the islands are close, close. to each other, right? But if you're talking about, uh, you know, Athens to Santorini or Mykonos or Naxos or Paros, those are several hours, right? I think like four to six, like several hours, you do have to go to one of the ports. Uh, around Athens mm -hmm. to take the ferry so that you know that is a thing as well so yeah. just just know that um, the ferries can take time which uh, you know I think in terms of time uh, flying is definitely Hands down. you know the way to go my personal tip is that if you are flying into Athens mm -hmm. Uh, and then you want to go to an island, it's much better to just, you know, land in Athens and then take a plane from Athens airport to one of the, the major islands that you're planning to visit. If you're already around the islands, it's probably better to take a ferry. Yeah. Uh, on the ferries, the, the restrictions on carry-ons, uh, security, you know, like yeah. going through all that hustle and bustle at the airport security and, and all that kind of stuff, you don't really have that on the ferry. Yeah, I think the, the thing to note too is ferries might be cheaper, but they might not. Some of those longer ones, you actually need to book a room. They're like overnight. From Athens to Paros or Naxos, uh, a plane ride was about 45 minutes. And I think when we looked into the ferries, they were about six hours, yeah. five, six hours. So if you only have a couple days, we right. recommend flying. It's a lot easier. Um, also, um, the ferries do not run year round. So True. in the depths of winter, <laughs> uh, the ferries are, um, you know, they, they, they don't, they have limited schedules or they have limited um, routes and they also may stop running completely. Mm -hmm. So, you know, where, whenever you, whenever you're going, make sure that uh, the, the ferries are, are going if that's what you're, you're planning, you're planning to do. All right, let's talk about, let's talk about when to go. Mm. Right, so we went in August um, and I would say, I would say it was hot is, is, what, is what I would say. It was warm. Yeah. But if that's what you're looking for, like if you're going to the islands and you're someone that like enjoys relaxing at the beach, it's perfect weather. Right. You're not, you know, walking around in the city per se if you're in the islands, right? So you're there to, to enjoy um, relax hopefully and so forth so I think like if that's the kind of vacation you're looking for and you're okay with heat it was in the 80s right. high 80s almost yeah. every day yeah. but in the night at night it cooled off it was like very comfortable right. I think in the evening um, so so coming from California Los Angeles uh, one is that I thought that the humidity was on the higher side probably like 40s or so and and not only the heat it was the Sun the Sun was really really harsh mm -hmm. definitely sunblock like sunblock sunscreen uh, i mean the sun i would say was a lot harsher i felt than... it was it was strong i think the other thing was when you're on the islands there's wind so the wind can kind of deter your thinking of how hot it is so then you can also get you could potentially get sunburn so yeah. i think yeah just bring appropriate clothing you're not going to be wanting to walk around in a tank top all day um unless you really want your shoulders burned right. um yeah. but yeah so i think that's that's a good yeah. Sunscreen's available everywhere right. as well, which was great. Yeah, um, sunscreen so is available. Buy it everywhere. there, lather it on every hour. Right. Restaurant reservations. Yes. Reservations <laughs> they, in general. Right. <laughs> right. Them. Reservations in general are a thing. Um, so we went, you know, August 2021. We thought that, you know, with, with COVID, uh, you know, things would be, I would say, less tourist. You know, there would be less tourists around and we would have free reign. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of the things that we researched made it seem like it wouldn't be that busy. Right. Um, and it 
wasn't, it wasn't that busy, but at the same point, we had a lot of trouble getting restaurant reservations, reservations for cars, right. boat trips. So I think really, realistically, it's it's that you know there are less tourists with COVID, but then there's also less capacity mm -hmm. in terms of like restaurants, in terms of like businesses or car rentals mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, so I think that uh, yeah, there's less like demand, but also there's less supply. So yeah, you it, reservations are pretty important um, if you want your vacation to go as smooth as possible if you're okay with a few hitches and uh, a <laughs> little it. a little winging it then um then then don't but i would say that if uh yeah i would say i would rec we would recommend them i think one of the things is like cars quads or four wheelers are really popular there yeah. we got denied by 10 places oh, yeah. before we we found a place that might have a car right so again I think it takes a little bit more pre-planning to find a place to reserve a car but well, if you're gonna use a car like basically any any vehicle right whether it be a scooter motorcycle um, cars especially if you want um, an, an automatic mm -hmm. car yeah. uh, as opposed to a manual uh, or like a four-wheeler or four by four actually yeah I mean realistically it was it was kind of tough getting anything I think the easiest were the the motorcycles and the scooters mm -hmm. uh, they were much easier to to rent and they had more available than the cars or the quads which leads us to another point if you are going to drive rent a scooter a four-wheeler anything you need an international driver's license um, they're gonna check for that the other thing too is if you do want to get a scooter we were looking at it if you have a regular if you don't have a motorcycle license which neither of us do you are limited to their lowest powered scooter Vespa right, right. Um, we I loved the four-wheeler so highly recommend that it's really easy to drive it's very intuitive but um, definitely get your get your international driver's license right. it, yeah. AAA has those very quick I think 25 bucks yeah yeah you really need it I think uh, in the past uh, there'll be some videos that says like you really don't need it you read on some forums that mm -hmm. like oh you don't really need it but now you do yeah uh -huh. it is yeah. required yeah, they yeah. won't even consider you yep, yep, <laughs> if yep. you don't have that proof um but yeah so i think that's that's a, another another big yeah, thing yeah let's talk about accommodations uh i think if you're watching youtube and it's like oh where to stay what to stay you know like you'll see tons of people um who are staying in these places gorgeous they have uh you know their own pools right the accommodations have pools um i don't recommend those so i'm not gonna lie jimmy's bringing it up i that is what i envision <laughs> i was like i want to stay in one of those really pretty white buildings with a pool and i want to look at the ocean right they are great. I think that you can do that depending on what you're looking to do with that trip. If you are going to the islands for an R&R, &R, you're just going to hang out with you, your partner, your family, you can definitely do that. But do be aware, those are not near the beach at right. all. They That's... are they are far. You will then you will then need a car um, or if or, or pending walking. if the if the hotel. I don't think most of them weren't necessarily walkable right. the ones that we saw, especially on the islands. They're 10 to 15 minutes. I agree. From I, the ocean. Yeah, I think that was something that we didn't really realize once we got there mm -hmm. is that um, a lot of the, the the accommodations in the like city center or around the city center they were not they were not that pretty. Like you don't get like crazy views. You definitely do not get a pool. No pools. Um, you know, unless you're like even a lot of the hotels yeah. where we where we stayed like around us didn't have their own pools so just know that yeah around the beach areas space is valuable space is limited um, so I, I feel like a lot of the very glamorous uh, accommodations that you see on YouTube or Instagram they're a bit further if not a lot further away from the main tourist areas or the ports or something like that um, we really liked walking around we like uh, you know looking for things to eat or drink or um, just enjoying the the general like hustle and bustle of the main cities so we really enjoyed um, you know staying in the you know within the, the main city areas and that uh, unfortunately like a lot of those places don't have views or uh, don't have these like pools or you'll have to pay a lot for them I think the benefit of having a hotel in that main area is the beach is 50 feet from right. the front door of the hotel whereas again we're from LA so we're used to like mile long beaches so not only do you get to the beach you then walk a mile to then get to the water um, these are shorter beaches every beach is gorgeous and you can just walk everywhere like we we could walk from our hotel to, to four or five different little beaches right. like within five right. 
to 10 minutes, yeah. which and, is really cool. Yeah, and then um, at the beaches, there's always... Uh, service. There's always, yeah, a lot of the beaches are serviced unless you're going to like one of the remote beaches. For those of you that might not know what a service beach is, it is a beach with more or less cabanas or umbrellas, lawn chairs, nicer lawn chairs, and then there's someone that's there to typically bring food or drink from one of the restaurants that's, again, very close proximity. Um, I think most of them were 8 to 16 euros right. for a chair for the day, yeah. um, which is pretty worth it. And then I think the other thing that we should definitely mention is if you have a small towel, like a packable towel, like a beach towel, bring it. Right. Um, your hotel, like none of our hotels actually provided like beach towels. Um, luckily we brought our own, but also the service beach uh, chairs, like they have cushions, but they, they also don't really offer towels. So it was pretty common to right. see everyone bring was, their own stuff to the beach. Right, right, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's a COVID thing or not, but yeah, it just seems like you, you bring your own towels. Yeah, bring your own towel. It's, wor it, it's great. And I think that that's also cool because you can then go to like we did some of the more remote beaches that aren't serviced that are also empty and gorgeous. Right. And then you can just set up shop, yeah. relax, read, and have some snacks and so forth. All right. Uh, so one of the things I want to talk about is also like how to get around. There's plenty of options available on you know the islands that we went to. You can either rent a, a bike or a car or you know four by four or four wheeler. Um, there's also a bus option, right? And right. And I think that um, I think all the options are really good. Just know that if you want to explore and go to like really remote beaches, remote places, and just like hang out there, then usually you kind of do have to rent something to go on your own. But if you're, I would say, going to a popular destination or a popular uh, city or town um, on your island, then bus service is is usually really good. Yeah, the but so to give an example, we were on Paros, and so we went from Parika to Nasua, um, which are the two main right. largest towns. Uh, both have little ports, um, but yeah, the bus we did the bus. We went there for dinner. Um, as long as you're okay with kind of waiting, I think one of the the, the bus home was. I think a half an hour late, right. maybe. It just goes back and forth. So it, imagine, it's not like a normal city bus. I will we'll throw that out. They do look more like your tour buses, right? right? Buses. The, or like kind of like a, like a Greyhound. So larger, comfy seats, air conditioned. Um, they were nice a, buses. They were nice buses. So it's really different to, to ride like a city bus, but it, it's kind of like a tour bus. Um, but again, yeah, it was really cheap, convenient, and I think the the ride back and forth was, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, and I think uh, each each way was a euro to a euro 50. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think I think both are both are good options. Depends on how much time you guys have, your financial situation, and uh, sort of what you guys want to do. So let's talk about uh, the bigger islands versus sort of like the smaller, less popular islands. Um, I'm sure we've all seen pictures of Mykonos, of Santorini. Uh, you know, they're all over YouTube, all over Instagram. Uh, just know that uh, if you're thinking about visiting those islands, uh, there's, I would say there's generally more stuff to do, but it's also generally more expensive and also generally more crowded. Mm -hmm. So um, just, you know, just keep that in mind, especially if you're going on, you know, the, you know, tourist season, right? Uh, uh, high so, season. So just know that like there'll be a lot of people uh, around you and um, yeah, there's definitely a, a, a cost to those. If you're going on to some of the smaller smaller islands, uh, I would say that the, I would say that, you know, you might be saving about 20%, uh, you know, 10 to 20%. You're talking about like price reduction about how expensive things are. Uh, you'll definitely have less people, but sometimes uh, I would say sometimes it's, it's quieter. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When people say, um, I didn't get this until we got there, but when people say certain islands, like there's not a lot to do, there really isn't a lot to do. <laughs> um, so Jimmy's very active. Uh, he, he, he doesn't, he doesn't sit at the beach and read, whereas I thoroughly enjoy doing that. So I think that you do need to plan ahead if, if you are going to one of those smaller islands, um, I think even Crete, though, right, is, a, is still yeah, kind of quiet. Yeah, I, I would say that uh, yeah, the the lesser known or less touristy islands, less to do at night, things sort of quiet down. Uh, you can sort of party and be loud, but you'll feel a little bit weird doing it. Yeah, because... there, there were. I don't think there were any like clubs on our right. our islands. I think that 
you just need to plan what you want to do. There are there are things to do like kite surfing. You can take kite surfing lessons. You can go out and do boating trips and so forth. But it is going to be a little bit different from like what you would like clubbing or nightlife elsewhere. might yeah. be a little bit more limited. Uh, so so you know just know it depends on what you guys are looking for. I do have to say that the smaller islands, you do kind of get a more of a, a local feel. Uh, there is that sense that people actually live on these islands. And uh, so you kind of get this more, I, I feel like more authenticity with the smaller, uh, less known islands. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, just, just an FYI. All right, guys. I think uh, I think that's it for this episode. I think those are the tips uh, that we can we can think about. Uh, if you guys have any tips, if you guys been before and you have any tips to share, or maybe we got some stuff wrong, definitely leave in the comments below. And uh, until next time, bye.